Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and the next review I want to do is the Halo Reach Series 6 from McFarlane. This is the objective accessory pack, three pack, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a three pack, though it is coming in at that price point, and it is probably that size overall. So you get one Spartan. This is a red Mark V. He's got the Mark V. I don't know what these are actually called, but they're the shoulders that look like the standard Master Chief shoulders. It's got the Grenadier knee pads and an assault rifle Mark V helmet. I think that's just the basic chest piece. Not sure about that, but we'll talk about him in a second. Let me just go over what he comes with real quick. You've got one uh, capture point, whatever you call that thing. You've got three different flags, the red team, the blue team, and the gray team. We'll go into everything in more detail in a minute. Three flag stands. This bottom piece actually comes off. That's just for stability. So three flag stands. A human bomb, a Spartan bomb, and a covenant bomb. You've got five skulls for the uh, headhunter game type with the fire on there. And one hammer. I'm assuming that's for Griff Ball. I'm not sure since there's not really an objective game with a hammer other than Griff Ball as far as I know. So that's what that is. But anyway, so the capture plate is hollow, but it's still really cool. It's sculpted nicely. The paint works good. It's nice, nicely shaded. And then it's got the uh, UNSC logo in there very faintly. The battle damage looks pretty good could be a little bit more scuffed up everywhere other than the big scuffs because it kind of looks out of place but overall it's pretty nice the paintwork's not a hundred percent perfect on the blue lines there but still it's pretty good and the green has some nice variation in there and really not not really much to complain about it looks pretty good overall and it's got some really good size in comparison it's uh, about almost as tall as a Spartan up to his shoulder so it might be a little bit bigger than it should be but either way, that's the uh, capture point there. The skulls, you have two skulls with the fire going off to the left. So two like that. Two skulls with the fire going off to the right. And then one skull with the fire right in, here we go, come on. Uh, with the fire right in the middle. And then each skull has the uh, little um, thingy there that they have in Halo. I don't know why that's there, but it is there. Uh oh, lost my skull. Well, we'll just use another one. So they all have basically the same sculpt work on the bottom and on the face part, but they look pretty good. The paint work on the fire is pretty solid, and the sculpting is not bad. I kind of wish they were all just had the fire going out of the center, but you can set them up so it kind of the fire goes in every direction. So it's not too bad. It could be better, I think, but it's not bad at all. The UNSC bomb looks pretty good, has a great amount of detail. I'm not sure if the UNSC logo is supposed to be uh, centered in each spot, because some of them are really crooked like that one and that one, but it is there and it's nice and clear. And then it has the other little green lettering on there, that's not something you can actually read, but it is there. It has the, I guess that's supposed to be a light or something down there, I'm not sure. Slightly off center with the white part, but still a nice detail. It does say, thus I refute thee across the top. Could be a little clearer for the thus part and the thee. It's kind of smudged, whatever that means. But uh, it is there and you can read it, so it's pretty cool. And it's got some nice paintwork. The Covenant Bomb doesn't have any of the lettering, of course, but it is still nicely painted. Those little pink triangle things aren't exactly centered, though. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be. I haven't looked at the bomb in that much detail in-game. But I would assume they are supposed to be centered and they're just not quite where they're supposed to be. Overall, it has a really nice paint job, and it's sculpted really well. The hammer, we've seen this before, it's done really well. It's got that little logo on it. It looks kind of like a scorpion, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. But overall, the shading is really, really cool. It does have a weapon peg in it. This is nice and metallic. Lots of dry brushing on there. The gray parts are nicely done. And just overall, it looks really nice. Can't complain about that. And it's got good size. A little bit taller than a Spartan, so... Everything's just about on point there. Go ahead and take the base off just to show you guys. It's just for stability there. The uh, flag stand. You get three of these. They're all the same though. Pretty basic, but the sculpting is on point. And the paint works there too with the little white parts there. Everything's pretty solid. The flags just kind of slide in there. You can put them in as deep as you want. I just put them in like that so you can pop them out pretty easily. They stand on a little base just the way it is. You don't need 
to use the big gray piece underneath so I wouldn't bother doing that unless you're having trouble with stability uh, the flags themselves it's gonna look a lot more translucent than it is in real life that's just due to the lighting I'll keep my hand like that so you can see it hopefully kinda yeah I don't know if that's gonna work do I have any cardboard around here I don't wait a minute do I nope oh well so you can see what it looks like kinda it's not uh, real easy to see due to the lighting, but that's the uh, pattern on each one of them. They all have the same. Maybe another one's easier to see. The blue one, maybe. Yeah, they all have the same uh, pattern on them. And it's done really well. Some people are having a lot of the uh, little fringy parts right, right there. I don't have too much, but you can just cut those with some scissors. Just be really careful you don't cut the flag. It does spin around on here, so you can reposition it if necessary. But you want it just like that. Get the camera up there. So you want it, let's move the camera, so that the skull is facing forward and the flag is facing out that way. It does have a nice handle on there for the Spartans. Painted really well. Good sculpt work. The skull itself is done really well also. Um, they Some of them rotate. This bottom part rotates on some of them too, but this one doesn't need it and luckily it doesn't, so it's probably not supposed to. But I have one, let's see which one is it. The blue one, it's kind of loose. I think that's just an error, but uh, you can just pop that right in place. But overall, they're done really well. The detail is great, and they look really good. So don't let the uh, light fool you. These The flags don't look nearly as cheap as they're coming out to look at on the uh, camera. So they're pretty good. I'm pleased with them. Could be a little better, I guess, but they're really not too much to complain about. Let's talk about the Spartan real quick and then we'll call it a wrap. He's got the gold visor, standard Mark V helmet. One of my favorites, I really like this figure. He's got the big shoulder pads that we all like. A lot of people use these now because they look like the Master Chief ones, so that's cool. Comes with the assault rifle. Again, of course, no trigger finger. And it doesn't really matter too much on this because it's got a little tiny trigger guard, but still doesn't have it so it's kind of a disappointment. The paint works top notch on this again. All the paints where it's supposed to be. Everything looks nice and solid. Great shading, great everything. Really really pleased with that. Only problem is the very tip of it is bent but that's not a real big problem. Just push it right back in place. It does have a weapons peg. That can go in his back or on his thighs though since it's an AR it would just go on his back. Uh, like I said I think this is the original basic chess piece does have the knife and the logos and everything. Paintwork on this guy is top notch again. A little bit of smudging, but that is to be expected. Uh, everything is as you would expect. All the articulation is standard. He does have the cool grenadier knee pads, which I love. So this is one of my favorite red team figures overall with the Mark V helmet, these shoulder pads, and the grenadier knee pads. One of the better looking figures, I think. So that'll do it for the uh, objective accessory pack, is what it's called, I think, on the back of the packaging. But it's really just the objective pack. I don't know, however you want to call it. Lots of good stuff there. So you got the Spartan, the capture plate, the three flag stands, two bombs, five flaming skulls, a hammer, and three flags. Lots of good stuff. It is a $30 price tag, but I think it's worth it with all that you're getting. So I do recommend it. Guys, go look for that at your Target stores get the DCPI number or ask me for it. I might still have it laying around somewhere and then you can see if they have it in the back room maybe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, more reviews, more cousin figures and all that kind of thing. And in the meantime, keep collecting.